The first one is converting objects into an array of key value pairs. Passing an object as an argument to the object.entries function returns an array of arrays where each inner array is a key value pair of each item in the object. The next one is sorting an array. The sort method of an array sorts the elements of the array based on their Unicode value in ascending order. It also takes in a comparison function as an argument, which takes two elements A and B as inputs, and subtracts B from A. If the result of the subtraction is a negative number, then A will be sorted before B, resulting in a descending sort. Just switch A and B if you want to get an ascending sort. Generate random numbers within a specific range. Declare a function giving it two parameters, min and max. Within the function generate a random floating point number between 0 and 1 using the math.random function, multiply it by the difference between max and min and add 1 to it, add the results to min then round it down by wrapping the whole thing with the math.floor function. Another one is using the fetch API for get requests. An ideal way for doing this is by creating an asynchronous function, start by writing the async keyword before declaring the function. This tells JavaScript that the function will be an asynchronous function. Using the try and catch functions for error handling, create a variable to make the get request within the try block. Add the await keyword after the assignment operation to tell JavaScript to wait for the request before assigning the response from the request to the variable. The request returns a promise which has a JSON function, which is also returns a promise when invoked. Invoke this JSON function and assign it to a variable to store the data gotten from the API, don't forget to add the await keyword after the assignment operator. Then log out the data or use it to update your page. Now, inside the catch function, passing the error as an argument, you can decide to log out the error to the console or use it to design your page. The final one on my list is making post requests with the fetch API. Just like the get request, you'll need a try catch function. But before that, you'll need data to send to the server. Create an object with the data you'll like to send to the server. Now inside the try block create a variable to store the request. Don't forget the await keyword, now as a second argument for the fetch function, create a code block, within the code block specify the method of the request as post, add an header, then the body of the request would be the data you want to send back to the server back, but you'll need to stringify it first to be in JSON format. Now create a variable to store the response of the request. The catch block has the same line of code as the GET requests catch block, be a real programmer, copy and paste. Check the first comment for a file with all these snippets. Don't forget to like.